Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about relationship between total revenue and marginal revenue. In my previous video, we talked about the relationship between TR and MR when the prices remained constant or under perfectly competitive markets. In this particular video, we shall focus on when the price falls with a rise in output or imperfect markets. So without wasting any time further, let's take a look at how the relationship between TR and MR is depicted under these circumstances. Now this is how the schedule and diagram would look like. Let's take a look at the schedule first. So when we take a look at the schedule, we see that we have units sold lined up from 1 to 5. We have total revenue, which is a multiplication of price into quantity. So it's basically the multiplication between these two numbers. And this is how you get the total revenue figures. Marginal revenue, we've studied already. So when we talk about marginal revenue, we already know how it is calculated. It is basically the difference between two successive total revenue segments. All right. So that's how we derive our marginal revenue figures. Now, when we take a look at the figures under the total revenue column, we see that the total revenue is rising, then it becomes constant, and then it begins to fall. Marginal revenue, on the other hand, is falling right from the beginning. When these numbers are plotted on the graph, this is how the total revenue curve would look like and marginal revenue curve would look like. Now, in this particular diagram, we have two panels, panel 1 and panel 2. So, in the first panel, we are only talking about total revenue, and in the second panel, we are talking about marginal revenue. So let's take a look at the relationship between the two. The first relationship is depicted here where we say when the total revenue is rising, marginal revenue tends to fall, but it is still very much positive. So we can see it evidently in the diagram. So the diagram says that the total revenue is rising and the marginal revenue is falling and it is still very much in the positive quadrant. This is the positive quadrant. The second important aspect here is when total revenue is reaching its maximum at point A, marginal revenue is zero at point B, which I've already highlighted with these green letters A and B. Moving further, when we see that the total revenue falls, marginal revenue ends up becoming negative. These are the three things that we need to remember when we are talking about relationship between TR and MR under imperfectly competitive markets. One important thing that you need to note here is that marginal revenue can take all the three values. That is, it can be positive, negative, or zero. However, total revenue would always be positive. Marginal revenue will be able to take these numbers and these values only under imperfectly competitive markets. If you remember, under perfectly competitive markets, marginal revenue is a horizontal parallel line to x-axis. Another important thing when it comes to these questions is, in your exam, if your question remains silent as to which market segment you are supposed to discuss the relationship between TR and MR, it will be wise to write about both the market segments, as in perfectly competitive markets and imperfect competitive markets. If your question is specifically mentioning a specific market structure, Say, for example, you're supposed to give relationship between TR and MR under perfectly competitive markets, then stick to perfect competition, all right? Students, if you like my videos, please do like and subscribe to my channel. If you feel my videos are helpful, don't hesitate to share them with your friends as well. All right, students, I'll meet you in another video with another topic. Bye now. Take care.